How much sugar should I put in the gas tank to ruin the engine? All right, let's pump the brakes on this one for a second and explore what seems to be a rather destructive inquiry. So the urban legend goes that if you put sugar in someone's gas tank, you can say goodbye to that engine. The tale suggests that the sugar will dissolve in the fuel, get into the engine's workings, caramelize, and essentially turn the engine into a sticky, sweet paperweight. However, the truth isn't quite so simple, or cinematic. Sugar doesn't dissolve in gasoline. If you poured a cup of sugar into a gas tank, what you'd mostly be doing is introducing a bunch of granular material that could clog up the fuel filter. That's nothing to sneeze at, for sure, but it's far from the engine-destroying catastrophe you might have heard about. The real question here is, why would you want to ruin an engine? There's a lesson that many of us learn the hard way at some point. Actions have consequences. It's not just about possible legal ramifications, and trust me, they can be severe for this kind of vandalism, but about the path you're walking down. It's a dark alley of negativity that usually leads to more trouble than you started with. If this is coming from a personal vendetta, I'd urge you to talk it out or walk it off. Maybe take a hike in the stunning forests around Portland, Oregon to clear your head and get some perspective. Now, if this is purely hypothetical curiosity, remember that engines are intricate beasts that thrive on clean fuel and good vibes, not sugary sabotage. Let's keep it that way. Keep the sugar for your morning cup of coffee where it belongs. Besides, life's too short to spend it cooking up ways to be destructive especially when you live in a place like Portland where the outdoors beckons you to embrace the constructive, peaceful side of life. Go explore a trail or two. It's a far sweeter use of your time.